Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and I'm here with Packbot. I know you can't see very well, but this is how he is situated. Um, he told me to let you guys know to like and subscribe and to comment down below uh, while I open up these uh, packs that he has. What are they? I'm not sure. Um, somehow they're in there. Looks like they might be Innistrad Midnight Hunt Collector Boosters. Possibly all 12 of them. Let's get it. See if we can get anything decent out of here. Get a zombie token with decayed, which is not a problem. Can do stuff with that. Got some foil commons and uncommons. We'll kind of skate through those. Root coil creeper. There we go. We've got a full art foil forest in the creepy Innistrad style. Very cool. And as usual, I will be scanning up any of the notables. So let's see if the scanner, which is giving been giving me fits today, let's see if it likes it. So the foil version of that is a buck eighty nine. I'll be definitely collecting those. Got Tovalor, Dire Overlord, which is pretty decent. Now, yeah, the scanner sometimes could just cannot handle foils, and especially like newer stuff. So we'll try that one more time. Otherwise, we'll probably skip it. It's like too dark. Yep. Tovalor is probably okay. We're mainly looking for like the big showcases here. Curse of the Restless Dead. Let's say, what does it think about that? Buck fifty, and that's a commander uh, card there. That's pretty cool. Angel Fire Ignition, eighty nine cents. We'll throw that on there. So the uh, the showcase versions, which I really like, um, are very cool. But I don't think too many of these are going to be um, that notable. Now Sarith. Um, is going to be a pretty bomb commander, I think. So let's see how she does there. Yep, it's a dollar at least. We got a bird admirer in foil, and we got a mythic. We got Sigarda, Champion of Light. This is the, I guess, the showcase version. What would, what is it going to call that? Let's see if we can even recognize it. Sigarda, Champion of Light showcase, and it is a foil. So let's see how much that goes for. Seven seventy-three. There we go. We got an insect zombie token. All right, off to a good start here, I think. I like Innistrad and Midnight Hunt. I'm having a lot of fun with it on Arena. Um, I actually, I'm going to confess to you guys, had resolved not to buy a collector's box of this. Um, but I was actually at a, a new board game store, and they happened to have a decent price on this. So I went ahead and got it. And here we are now. So there's another forest. Um, I'll just add it to the list since it was hard to scan. We got a Willow Geist, foil Willow Geist, we're gonna skip by, past that. Empty the Laboratory, for, it's a commander card, showcase, or extended art, I'm sorry, it's a buck. Ghoul Collars Harvest, there's Gisa doing her crazy girl stuff. It is not a flooded strand, this is what I'm talking about, the scanner is being a pain today. Yeah, every time that it catches the glare just wrong, which is every time, it does stuff like that. There we go. It's just 75 cents. Got a Rejuvenator, a Brigand, Ludvik. There's a showcase. Pretty cool looking showcase. Like the uh, the old horror black and white look there. And he flips to Ola o Olog, Necrogenius, 50 cents. Dawnheart Mentor, Storm the Festival in foil, box topper style, extended art. So that might be a little bit here. Let's see. Can it see it? Storm of the Festival is a buck uh, on its own. And this would be the extended art version, right? So it is a foil. It's $3. $3.25. Big money, no whammies. Let's go, Packbot. We're looking for a Meat Hook Massacre here. Or a Ren and Seven. That's, that's where the real... The real exciting stuff happens. We got Shady Traveler. We got a Plains. Uh, we're going to assume it's about a buck or so like the other one. We're not going to bother trying to scan that. We got a Rem. Got a Curse of Clinging Webs. Uh, which is neither of those things that got scanned. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is kind of kind of being a pain. Yep, 89 cents. Unnatural Growth. Extended. Non-foil. 976, so that's seeing some play right now, I believe. Mono Green is doing its thing. Here we got a Liar, 
Liar, Lear, how do you sell that? say that? It's a showcase, Disciple of the Drone. I think that card is going to see some some uh, play for a long time. Probably a commander, get a Hound Tamer. And there's a uh, foil, Ghoul Colors Harvest, which it found it before. And it doesn't want to see it now. It, it, it binked it back into there. Extended Art Foil. Let's see what the foil version would have been. A dollar. I'm just going to switch it back. It's not a big deal. There we go. All right, next up. Is another pack of Instrad Midnight Hunt. It's nothing, anything different. Duress. New art looks pretty good in foil. Join the dance. We got an island. Very cool. I'll be hanging on to these for myself, probably. Curse of Silence in foil. Heron Blade Elite. Let's see if we can see that. There's a buck. Sun Street Phoenix. We got a mythic. There we go. I think I, I found the spot to put it at for the uh, um, the scanner to see it. There we go. Gisa Glorious Resurrector. This is one that I've been wanting to actually physically have. So here we go. And it's the showcase version. It's a couple bucks. And a Pithing Needle extended um, um, foil. Which is pretty good. As a foil, it is almost $4. There's a Ren 7 token. Or uh, emblem, I guess. Sorry. Let's see what that looks like in foil. So it doesn't have a listing for the foil. But um, I'm going to hang on to it anyway. What's next? Got some Coven Warriors. We got a Mystic Skull. We got a Forest. A Croaking Counterpart. This card's hilarious. That's great. We got Visions of Duplicity. Nothing big. A Willow Geist Extended. Shady Traveler. Stalking Predator. Suspicious Stowaway. We got a rare, at least. We'll check that one. It's a 65 cents. And we got a Denic. Showcase, Pious Apprentice, flips, flips to the Apparition, let's see, can it be seen, too much, too much glare, alright, I will add it manually, oops, Denik, Pious Apparition, it's the Showcase, Bink, it's 55 cents, but it's foil, so it's 86 cents, there we go, so, Maybe someday that will trend upwards in price a bit. All right, next up, Revelation, Occultist. There's a mountain. That one looks cool. There's Denik on his own. Fifty cents. What's the foil? It's like the same as the showcase. Yeah, it's pretty pretty close to it. Somberwall Beastmaster. Burn down the house. Mentor, Kessie Naturalist, Leesa, Forgotten Archangel. We'll scan her up. Buck 49. Beautiful card. Very cool. Rejuvenator and a Fateful Absence. There we go. Um, that's pretty good for a extended art foil. Let's take a look what that's going to look like here. 498. So hopefully that will trend up higher than the than the regular non-foil version at some point because the regular one was like four bucks. So no big deal. All right, next pack. The Blood Pact. Planes. Vadric. Curse of Conformity. 92 cents. Smoldering Egg. I keep seeing people try to play these. Um, I don't seem to have a problem with them. I just kill them. Old Stick Fingers. Very cool. The uh, the showcase looks really good on these myth on these legendaries. Keswick Naturalist uh, Showcase. Let's check this one. Not a big money one, but this one definitely sees play in all the werewolf decks. And then we got a Florian. Boldarian Scion. All kinds of showcases in these. 
collector packs, right? Buck 98. And a bird. Come on, pack lock. Give me the goods here. Midnight Ambush. Rebirth. Swamp. Bribers Tracker. It's a good card. Um, so good that it's only 50 cents for the regular and a 69 for the foil. Will help the Rock Cleaver. Is a dollar. Wake to Slaughter. There's that S Laughter. Witch, Infiltrator, and there's Denik again. Shady Traveler and Curse of Silence is the extended foil, which is about a buck. Component Collector. Key, it's an island, primal adversary, foil mythic, five bucks, and then the foil version of that is just over five bucks. Ghoul's Night Out, hilarious. I'm here for it. It's a buck. Shaken Faith, not so much. Got a Adeline, Resplendent Cathar. Yep, this thing does some stuff with some humans out there. 99 cents, that's all it is. Tireless Holler and a Champion of the Perished. Uh, extended foil. Uh, I like this. I'll be keeping this for all my zombie needs. 432. Path to the Festival. Oops. Pyre. Got a forest. Can't stay away. Hordewing Scob. Briarbridge Tracker. Catilda. There's a great human there. 99 cents. And Intrepid Adversary. So we got a foil mythic um, extended border here. 9.99 by itself. $11 for the foil. A uh, foil multiplier of 0.2. Excellent. Loving it. Alright, well, no, it's not a meat hook massacre, but it's an okay card as well. Fuel the Ruin. It's good. I'll pull it. Mountain. Shipwreck Marsh is the first of these dual lands I've gotten. And can it be scanned? No, it's too dark. It's too shiny. There we go. Foil. Six dollars. Got a path lighter. Got the Celestis. So we got the Celestis. No, nope, it doesn't like it. I'm turning like every configuration of it. There. <laughs> It's on the wrong card. All right, I will manually add the Celestis as an extended art. $2.40. Brigand, Tovalar's Huntmaster, and a Malevolent Hermit, which flips to Benevolent Geist. And it is a foil. So that's eight bucks, there we go. All right, we got one more chance. Packbot, bring me luck. Eaten alive, and a swamp, and a brutal Cathar. Crowded crypt, galvanic iteration, witch ruffian, slow gurk, hilarious. The Overslime, yeah, I like the uh, showcase here. It's a dollar, and a Vanquish the Horde is my last extended foil. It is not the promo pack, it is the extended art foil, which is $12. It's pretty good, and an ooze token. So that is it for this set of packs. It was a uh, 
Collector Booster Box with Packbot. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one.